Roy Charles Waller wearing an orange jumpsuit surrounded by his defense team as the case against him moves through court. The now 60 year old Waller accused of attacking multiple women in several counties over a 15 year period. During the fourth day of his preliminary hearing, the court heard testimony from four different investigators who described the alleged assaults in great detail. A Davis detective testified that a victim told him a man duct taped her, pulled her from her student housing apartment, then sexually assaulted her in the back seat of a vehicle. A now retired Sacramento police detective told the court in October 2006, a woman and her roommate reported being bound with duct tape, then sexually assaulted in their home. According to the detective, the victim, only identified as Kay Doe, said the suspect then put her in a bathtub trying to remove evidence. And a now retired Martinez detective described an incident on Halloween night, October 31st, 1996, that where a woman, S. Doe, told police she thought a knock on the door was trick-or-treaters instead. After she opened the door, a man wearing a mask forced his way in, bound, gagged her, removed all of her clothes, then sexually assaulted her. The attacks from 1991 to 2006 went unsolved until prosecutors say DNA evidence from a drinking straw linked Waller to the crimes. During a break, attorneys didn't want to talk about the specifics of the case, but Waller's lawyer did explain that criminal laws from when the crimes were committed will play a major role in the case. Some of the incidents, for example, 91 or 92, the law was different than it was in 2006. And you can only be prosecuted under the law that was in effect at the time of the incident. And the law in one particular area changed in 1997. The legislature amended uh, one of the penal codes and created a significant change in things. So we have to look at the change in the law um, and look at the various cases that interpret that law.